my wife had a dream and I want her to share this dream. Hit it, baby. Yeah, so I had a dream about Shaquille O'Neal. And in the dream, the way it started off is I seen his kids first, his male children. And in the dream, they, you know, they were all teenagers or young adults in a dream. And it's, it's like I had a friendship with them, right? And I was in their home, Shaquille O'Neal's home, matter of fact, and it was huge inside. And for some reason, one of the boys got mad at me. I don't know why, you know, they got mad at me. And that's when I seen all of his kids, you know, I seen the girls as well. And I seen like a, a cook there, a mate. She was there as well. And uh, my mom was there as well. And all I know is that one of the boys got upset with me. Like I said, I don't know why. But Shaquille O'Neal came in the house. And since his kids were mad at me, or majority, you know, well, I would say one of them, at least one of them was mad at me the most. Um, It came off like, you know, well, I'm mad at you as well, you know. So I felt the tension between him and I. And uh, he didn't let me know that his expressions on his face um, seemed as if he was mad at me. So I was like in my head in the dream, I'm like, what did he, what did these kids tell him? Or what did the son tell him? Because it, it wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal. So anyways, um, I know I needed to leave the home. So, um, I didn't know how to get home because I was in California. I was in California and I'm like, I don't know. I need to find a way to get out of here, you know? And so he, in the dream, it's like, he didn't talk to me, but he knew what to do. So, um, he got in his car. It was the back of the house. He got in his car and his car was so old and ugly, very old and ugly. And, um, some people were in the front seat. Probably one of his child was in the front seat. He was a driver and, uh, somebody was, um, in the back seat. And so it was left for me to sit in there, but I didn't, I opened the door. The outside was horrible. So I even looked in the inside and the inside was just wretched. And I was like, nah, I can't, I can't ride with y'all. I rather, I like, that's how bad it was. I was like, I rather just find a way by myself. And, uh, so he, he drove off and, uh, I remember the car being like Brown and just really on the outside Brown, it was like Brown and beige and it was not clean. And then the inside was like Brown and beige and it was not clean. So as he drove off, um, I decided to get my camera on my phone and I started video recording, but it just wasn't clear. And so I started taking pictures and I looked around the neighborhood and the neighborhood, the way his home was, is like, it was like a duplex. So it was a huge home, but it was like all the homes, um, were like in a duplex form. Um, the front of the house was, was like, you know, have you, how you see graffiti? So it looked like, you know, it just looked like he lived in a bad neighborhood. And I could tell he didn't really want nobody to know where he lived because the backyard, you know, he never went to the front of his house. I just knew that in the dream Then he only, you know, stepped out of his house only from the back. Cause he didn't know where he didn't want nobody to know where he lived. And like I said, that the, the, the front of the house was graffiti everywhere. And, um, that's how the dream ended. Yeah. This is a very deep, dream very deep and very spiritual at the same time god is really explaining something greater here okay they were in the house they were in the house but the the the, the son one of the son a lot of them grow anger but one was very angry right then when he came out he was he noticed from the son from the, the tension around, then he grew anger at the same time. He is really focusing in a lot of things that his children are doing. He just want to please these children. 
if the children don't like anything, he will stand and agree with, with them. If they don't like, and it's so dangerous, they're growing up, and if they don't like any light, like light of God, things of God, he will also back them up. And this is very dangerous thing in this family. You know, the, 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 yes, he, he, you know, he loves his children, he loves his kids, but at the same time, what is that that, that they don't like? And this is supposed to be something that will bring light in their life, you know, something to, that will bring them close to God. And you neglecting that, you don't want uh, uh, your children, uh, you know, not to be happy because somebody will bring the word of God or something that will bring light to the family. So you see that uh, this these kids are making him to to block a lot of light, a lot of uh, Christians or believers that are try to come closer to them. You know, and you see in their car, you can tell that this car represents them spiritually. And spiritually, they are very, you know, the home, the house is very dirty. So that shows you there's a lot of cleansing to do. Everything is not about money. Everything is not about, you know, like my wife saw the whole uh, uh, atmosphere, the whole area. Everything is not about money, fame, and all that. My mother-in-law was in the dream at the same time. This is ministers of God trying to bring good news to this family. But they are blocking the good news. They are blocking the word of God. They are blocking this whole light. And the car need total cleansing. The car need total cleansing. I said it earlier. It's not about all the money. The Bible says, What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and loses his soul? God is knocking in the door of this family. I don't know what the enemy is planting against this family, but God is bringing this message as a warning for them to seek the light, as a warning for, for them to pray and seek for God's protection. The enemy is ranging so evil against this family. And that's why God need this home to be cleansed, need this home to be ready, prepare themselves so that this attack from the enemy will not stand against this family we're going to ask everyone to pray for this family we're going to seek uh, you know because the bible says iron sharpness iron yes you know people will be like why are you praying for the worldly people they need prayers they need god to touch their heart they need repentance they need salvation so that's why we have to keep on praying is then it's still up to them if they want to change or not because this world, there's a free liberty in this world, a free choice. You will have to choose this day whom we are going to serve. And one thing I know for a fact is this, Satan can never defend nobody. If you think that Satan is defending you in a second, he will definitely turn against you. But when God is defending you, he will forever protect you. You know, no matter what the enemy do, God is still going to be there for you. So this family, God is calling for their attention, for their repentance, for them to allow and accept the light of God to shine in their home. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, wow. This is amazing to me because I don't want to have to dream. I didn't even understand it myself. <laughs> so when I heard it, I was like, it makes a lot of sense. Wow. I pray that, you know, Shaquille O'Neal and the family will heed to the warning of God. You know, we love y'all. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all. Bye.